Hello, everybody, and welcome to day four of our 30-day blog challenge at Social Traffic Lab. And tonight, I'm going to talk about uh, two plugins that I'm using on KevinHDavis.com to create a uh, author bio box and my signature after each article. Um, so if we scroll down to the bottom of the article, we can see my signature, my name, and then the author bio box that actually has uh, links to my social media sites and um, and then also to a page that this plugin creates that is a I guess consolidating the articles that I have on the blog in this case I'm the only author on the blog um, right now so um, it, it does uh, do a lot of benefit for that but uh, but it also this actually ties in with the Google authorship uh, with rich snippets, um, which is one of the things that I'm still tweaking and still testing with this. Uh, the authorship, the rich snippets, uh, Google authorship, is one of the things that's been really hard to configure, and I haven't taken the time in the past to test it uh, and get all the tweaks and kinks uh, worked out, and that's what I'm doing. I'm taking advantage of that here in this blog challenge to get that worked out, so hopefully um, we'll get that worked out soon. Um, but just in itself, it, it gives a good author bio box. Um, I actually changed the font, and I'll, I'll show you where I did that um, here in a minute. But it, uh, it creates a link here for all the posts on the blog that I have. It has my author page. If I click on that, it's then going to take me to the author page on the blog, and that's only going to have the articles that I'm the author of. Um, so basically, it's kind of like a category page, but it's only showing articles based from that author. Uh, if I go back, it also has a WordPress icon for this site. It has my Facebook profile. It has my Twitter profile, Google+, and um, it's also linking to Google+, and that's how the Google authorship ties into it. Um, and then the YouTube channel for Social Traffic Lab. And so these are different. These are the personal profiles, um, social media sites, whereas this is sexy bookmarks. So this is sharing of the blog post, whereas this is the actual profiles for my social sites. Um, and then this is just an image of a signature and then my name. So to do this, I'm using two plugins. So let me get into plugins here. Um, I'm using Add Post Footer from uh, Free Time, it looks like. And then the second one that creates that author box, that is Social Author Bio. And so Social Author Bio adds those social buttons. It also ties into Google Authorship. And that's one of the things I'm still testing to get uh, tweaked. So that what happens with, social, with uh, the Google Authorship, if we, let's do a search here. Let's go here. If I go out to Google and I search for social traffic, oops. we can see social traffic lab is number four, but also you have uh, the news. Oh, this is actually a news one. So you have a news, you'll have an image here, which in, in Google authorship, this will actually be the image of the author. And then it'll have the name of the author, and then it'll have the number of articles in Google that that author has. And that number of articles actually across all the different sites that they contribute to. Um, and so if we, if I go back to here and I go to my Google Plus profile, Um, on the profile, somewhere, let's see, I think it's on the profile, just a minute. Um, See how your profile appears as others, enter your name. Let's 
let's say I want to see how it looks for Kevin Rose. Okay, I can't find it. I'll have to do another video on that. Um, so if we look at the settings, let's look at social author bio first. And so in this case, I'm not having it inserted automatically into pages and posts. I'm using the short code because I'm integrating the social author bio with the add post footer. Um, and the avatar size, that's the image of the headshot that's set to 80. And I'm enabling the Google authorship because that's one of the main purposes I'm using this plugin. Um, and so I have that enabled. And then I've checked the different social profiles that I want to use uh, with Facebook, Twitter, Google+, YouTube, and Pinterest. And I just save that. You can also set up custom links. So if there's something, you know, maybe there's an e-commerce shop or something that you want to link to, you can give the link name, the, you can put text in front of it, like visit us. Um, you have the uh, image URL and so on. Um, I'm not using custom links at all. And then the advanced HTML style uh, menu. Um, I, this is where I actually changed the font. So I changed the author name to 18 pixels. It was, I believe, 14 pixels before that. And I changed the bio box to 16 pixels and adjusted the line height to 18 pixels. So that's, that's the only style settings I changed. Everything else is the same as it was out of the box. It's just that the text was really small. So I've updated that a bit. The other plugin settings are underneath uh, the settings menu. And so that's the post footer menu here. And this plugin can actually be used to run ad code um, before the related post. Um, you just put the ad code, whatever you want, in here. Um, and I'm actually using this next option, which is insert option text or HTML to end the post. Um, and so what I'm doing is I'm putting two line breaks in there and then I am linking to the image uh, for my signature. So that, that signature that you saw there, that's coming from this image itself. And then I do a line break and put my name in there, regular text. And then this is what I added when I added the bio. So I'm using that social bio short code uh, within this plugin. So you can use the short code within the plugin. WordPress identifies that it sees, oh, social bio, and it replaces what's coming from that social bio plugin within this plugin itself. Um, and so that's how that works. In the, um, I also believe, if I remember right, when I am working on the post, after I'm done with the post, I look at published. If I go in and look at that post, we can see here is the post footer. So it adds an entry into the edit post screen where I can actually choose uh, which one I want to use. And in this case, I'm using about the author. And then that's it. So the purpose of this uh, plugin, of these two plugins, is to create this signature and author box. Um, and then hopefully, eventually, um, in an upcoming video, I'll share with you the actual indented listing uh, for um, all of my different posts that are showing up from KevinHDavis.com. We're going to be implementing the same type of thing once we get this worked out on Social Traffic Lab. So Spencer will have his author bio and I'll have my author bio. And then as we're posting, you'll see uh, that underneath each of our posts along with our signature. Um, so I think it gives a much more polished look to your uh, blog post. It personalizes it. Um, they get to see your photo. We were actually just reading an article, I think, from HubSpot about personalizing email. And within that, they were saying to include your photo as well. And uh, it just gives a much more personal um, aspect to your post. And it helps people connect with you as they're reading your content on a daily basis if you're posting daily. Thanks a lot, and I hope you enjoy it. If you have any comments, go ahead and leave them below, and we'd love to hear how you're liking the challenge. Um, 
and your experience if you're blogging and, and taking part with us in the challenge we'd love to see some of the blog posts that you're doing and we'd also like to know what you're thinking of uh, how you feel about the videos that we're doing and whether you're getting some value out of this we really like to know thanks a lot